and then the one that went to Plano. That's that's about all I know about that part of it. Sheriff, you sound confident that the shooter was a male and there's just a single person who did this. Is that from interviews or why, why do you feel so confident about that? Yeah, that that's from what little information that we have received. Uh, that That's why I'm feeling confident about that. Can you describe what happened once those shots were fired, maybe based on what the deputies have told you so far, people running, jumping through the windows, there are some cars that are still there? That's a really good question. It, it was uh, mass chaos, people trying to exit the, be the uh, building. Uh, some of the injuries were from broken glass, trying to, they were breaking the glass of the windows trying to get out of the building. My deputy said there was like four abreast trying to get out the, the, the front door, which was just a regular door opening. So it was uh, mass confusion when the shooting started. One more question. Are the witnesses saying that the shooter said anything? No. The, uh, they were not no, saying that he said anything. No. The, the two deceased, are they male, female, do you know? The, they are both males. Both males. Yes. Uh, you, you mentioned that you thought, uh, based on what you learned, that the shooter may have been targeting that one person. What gave you that impression? That, that's just a, a theory by the location of the victim um, from the witness that uh, we talked to that was right there within a few feet. Uh, it seemed to her that uh, uh, he picked out this, this one individual. For, for his first victim. Was it one of the uh, two males that were killed? Correct. That's correct. Do you have the caliber of the weapon at this point? No, sir, I do no. not. Just just said it was a handgun. Chief, you hear about this stuff all over the state of Texas as well as the nation. Mass shooter, and I even say mass chaos. Now it's hit your city. It's not to a large scale, but still it's here. How do you feel? What do you, off what do you say to the officers and to everybody in there? You know, who, uh, who's going to recover from that. Well, I, you know, I think anything like this is, is going to be um, uh, something very hard to deal with. It's not something that we deal with every day. I've, I've been in law enforcement for 44 years, and I believe this is the first time I've had something of this magnitude um, in, in my career. As a matter of fact, next Saturday, uh, we are hosting a uh, seminar on an active shooter uh, by Mark Sal, he's a retired DPS. Uh, we're offering to the public uh, for free. It uh, goes into the mind of a, of a shooter, of an active shooter, and kind of gives you signs about what to look for. Very educational, very informative. Wish we'd have had it a week before now. Sir, you said that the uh, owner of the family was cooperating. Correct. Did they indicate whether or not they you know, I, I didn't speak with him. My detective did. I, I don't know whether they were anticipating that many folks or or not. Who is the owner of the venue? Uh, Heath Jackson is his name. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. I appreciate is there it. Is something else planned later today? Okay. No, I don't think we have anything right now. Unless something develops, we catch the guy. Okay. Something like that, we will. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of y'all who are wanting to make open records requests, I have a copy of who's in those two. I remember you. You can pick this up or I'll pass it around. Y'all take one if we need more. Excuse me, if we need more, we can print one. Thank y'all. Thank you.